Welcome back to another video. World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, where we're going to play a rogue on self found and also no groups allowed. Haven't posted part one yet. But it is important that the series does well. Because if it doesn't, we're not going to continue on with this gameplay of the character. Um... And we also have Sprint now. Couch Evasion Sprint. All right. We did a, a lot actually yesterday. In two hours. Um, well, in the previous video, we actually reached level 10. Which is absolutely ridiculous. We're going really, really fast at the moment, in my opinion. It's like almost speed running still. But like I said before, uh, at this point in the game, you still don't uh, shouldn't have any greens. So it does make sense that we're still doing good. Oh, my. I feel guilty deceiving my family, but my feelings for Tommy Joe are too strong to ignore. Thank you, adventurer. I'll drink this liquor as soon as I have the chance and sneak away to my love. And for you, please take this. Oopsie. Didn't mean to click on you, bro. Meant to skin your brothers around you before you eat them, literally. Because I'm pretty sure boars would do that. Bro, why is this field so full? Someone was farming this like crazy. See then, let's go hand in this quest. I'm pretty sure we're gonna make our way now to Westfall soon. I also don't know if we have the capacity to take on Hogger solo. That would be a bit tough, wouldn't it? Hey there. Thank goodness. That pig was getting so big she'd have eaten our whole crop. Thank you, adventurer. Now, do either of these suit you? How are you? Hello, baby. See you around. We do have seven potions and even one big one, so... I also don't know what level Hogger is, but I soloed him with the Hunter level 12, and that was... Let's just say it was a close call. <laughs> So I don't think a rogue is as strong as a hunter at level 12, so... And we're not even level 12 yet, so... Maybe we shouldn't even attempt. Depends on the guide says we should do it. Otherwise we shouldn't. Stay away from the light, Mabri. I can't believe the officials in Stormwind sending the bulk of our army abroad when our home front is under so much pressure. 
With thieves coming from Westfall and knolls encroaching from from the east and west, it's a wonder Stormwind itself isn't besieged. Marshal Dugan sent you, huh? Well, you're not from the army, but if Dugan sent you, then that's good enough for me. Our situation is, to say the least, a stressed one. I hope you can give us a hand. Knolls, brutish creatures with no decent business in these lands, have been seen along the borders of Elven Forest. A large pack of them, many more than we can handle alone, have infested the woods south of the guard tower yonder. Another group has infested the areas near Stone Cairn Lake to the east. The Stormwind army will commend whomever helps kill them. Bring me their painted knoll armbands as proof of your deed. Goodness. We're gonna go to five combo points per enemy. Oh, that's gonna be ridiculous. Okay, so we took a skill. Uh, we're taking the remorseless attacks. So pretty much when you get honor or, or, or experience, you get a buff. And this buff will give you a time period for 20 seconds. Where your next sinister strike has a way higher chance to crit. So what this initiates at first is a pretty decent opener on the next enemy. As long as you can chain kill. That's what it comes down to. So you can see I have the buff here. 20% chance to crit. So there we go. That critted. So your next in this strike will crit. As long as you chain kill. And this will just speed things along. Um, make the opener a lot better. the next enemy we'll speed up the process quite a bit you can see it didn't crit so it's not it's not a hundred percent crit it's just a higher chance to We also have Slice and Dice now, which increase our attack speed by 20%. So, getting a new weapon as a rogue, you can actually train that weapon so fast, compared to other classes. Which also, in theory, is amazing. When it comes to professions, what we took was Leatherworking and Skinning. Wow. So we took leatherworking skinning and uh, I feel like it's going to be most probably where we get the most stats. But the more I think about it, I think Petri is just way better than than that. Maybe even engineering. To drop the target dummy and use sprint, you know.
Seems like we're going to use quite a bit of first aid. We are getting cloth at least from these enemies, so it's not the end of the world. So at first it is barely healing anything, dude. 66 health. We have 200, almost 230 HP. Currently sitting on four out of eight. Bandanas we have to collect. Oh, it's an armband actually. We couldn't even heal there. Hugger is pretty close, I'm pretty sure. We have a, a main and mace. Where if you want to use that, we have to go to... Iron Forge to train it. Is this a cell phone guild? No, it's not. It's not a cell phone guild, but it's uh, just a regular guild. I don't know if we should join a cell phone guild. But, I mean, I don't know what the benefit would be. Talking to the people with the same struggle as you, I guess? Is that... that, that should be the benefit?
It's for me. It's not about enjoying a cell phone or not. For me, it's a. Uh, it's about another challenge. Right, as a content creator, you need to find reason for people to watch your content. And this could be something, you know? Like, I'm sure I'm not the first rogue to do this. But I'm pretty sure I also won't be the last. Right, there's... It's just another reason to watch this content. And then the no groups allowed thing is... Like, I'm allowed to dungeon, but if it's only solo, right? Which will never happen. Me not that kind of orc. We have a full inventory. skinning yeah there's like no enemies around here to kill solo I'm gonna take on all okay, never mind someone else is with him must be fun being in parties dude Need one more banana, bro. It's actually going pretty fast. Is a solo one walking up and down here?
Damn, son. This thing just spawned on top of me with 10 health. That was actually pretty close. Sometimes I, do, I just don't get the code of Blizzard. Like, how did that just happen? We literally just killed him. Why did they respawn there? Oh my god. I don't think rogues can use axes, dude. Rip, dude, you can't. They said they added uh, access to Wrath so that rogues can use access. Someone was saying not even in Wrath they can use Axis. A dagger is pretty nice. I was level 14 anyway, I couldn't use it. Goodness, those crits, dude. Wasn't for much damage. But it was non-stop. What the heck? I'll take it. I think while we wait, we'll just... There's nothing that spawned. There's a bear. Okay, these two are still fighting about whether you could use Axis and Wrath or not. Let 
Let me just go here. Can rogues use access in World of Warcraft? I should just say classic also. Yes, outlaw rogues in World of Warcraft can use uh can use it. But there's no outlaw in classic. So they can use axes now. So between now and wrath is when it was added. I'm lagging. Dude, I'm lagging. Dude. Dude. Don't do it to me. Now I have 300 ping. Yo, when is this guy spawning, dude? <laughs> yeah, my ping is fucking insane. I don't know what's happening, dude. Main hand mace. What is this one? Also main hand. It's the same weapon. I think at the moment it's 400. Honestly, can't wait for Elon Musk's internet, dude. It's, uh... It's still not legal. Well, it's still not out yet, let's just say that, in South Africa. Also main end. 2.5. 3.8. Little scroll of protection there, we'll take it. Like first green item and we can't use it. It's kind of sad, dude. Can't even put it on the auction house. What can I do for you? I see you've been busy. You have our thanks, adventurer. But it's all right. We'll survive. I 
will survive. Yeah. My bad. My bad. I shouldn't be singing, right? <laughs> It was horrible. Verna woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. Verna's PA gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. I never thought the day would come when I'd leave the farm, but the fields are overrun with thieves and it's far too dangerous for us here now. As soon as Farmer Furlbrow gets the wagon fixed, we'll be on our way. Maybe you could do me a favor? Let me scribble down my recipe for Westfall stew. Please take it to Salma Saldine over on the farm yonder. The Saldine's farm is just beyond the fork in the road. Poor old Blanche. Such a tired beast after all the work we put her through. I fed her before we left the farm, but we weren't expecting the wagon to break on us. If you could bring her a few handfuls of oats from the fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could find some around all of the farms in Westfall, if you can steer clear of those horrific machines that have taken over. There are several farms southwest of here. Look at what has happened to this place. These lands were once occupied by good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the fields. If you're up for the work, I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done for your pay. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. That Verna was always such a sweet lass. We'll miss her here in Westfall. But between you and me, she's a city girl at heart and Stormwind will suit her just fine. But enough gossip, now we can make Westfall stew. The onions are peeled. The garlic is minced. The rosemary is crushed, the crust has been baked, the dill weed is chopped, the gravy is simmering. Now all I need for my famous meat pie are eight Gortusk livers. Help me make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. Three stringy vulture meat, three Gortusk snouts, three murloc eyes, three okra. Bro, what is wrong with you? Like, you're gonna make a stew with a murloc eyes? I mean, like, are you... Really? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Sounds nasty. I wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. No matter how hungry I get, I'd rather starve to death. Well met. Ah, so my friend sent you here? How kind. Well, the Stormwind Monarchy has abandoned our cause. Now it is up to the people's militia to keep the land free from corruption. If our cause interests you, I can put your combat skills to use the time of freedom. The people's militia has but one goal, to defend the lands of Westfall and return peace to our surroundings. Unfortunately, the price of peace is often blood. One of my scouts has brought word of a band of Defias trappers wreaking havoc nearby. I have reports of Defias trapper sightings near the Jango Lode Mine to the northwest as well as at the Molson Farm and Furlbro's Pumpkin Farm. If you seek to join our ranks, slay 15 Defias trappers and 15 Defias smugglers, then return to me. Stormwind has abandoned us, a foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall. Track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the dead mines thieves. Bring me eight knoll paws, and I will reward your bravery. Although we don't get much aid from Stormwind directly, I do have a contact in the city who helps supply us with armor. His name is Osric Strang. His shop, Limited Immunity, is in the old town of Stormwind. Our supply of armor dwindles, and I must contact Osric for more. Can you take him this note? The fastest way to Stormwind is through Thor, our griffin master. He's just down the hill, bring him my note, and then take a griffin to Stormwind. You have to get this note to Stormwind? That's not a problem. You can take one of my griffins. For a small fee, you can take a griffin to Stormwind so you can deliver Lewis's note to Osric. You won't get there faster any other way. If that sounds acceptable, then just speak to me again when you're ready for the ride. I'll charge you a little, but trust me, it'll be worth it. 
So the guide is saying right now we should be grinding until we have 31 silver. I think it might tell me to buy bags, but I really did that. The only thing I really want to do is train... You know, I want to train maces because we have one, but... I think we're going to be in Iron Forge for a little bit, so we'll, we'll, we'll train swords first. Even though we don't have one. This is still orange, so we're not going to train leatherworking. So as much as I want to use this mace, we can't for quite a bit, fortunately. Telling us to buy a different dagger now. Oh, it's a throwing dagger. To be honest, I don't even think I want to do that. Need help? Best deals in all of Stormwind, my friend. Won't find any better. Now, what can I help you? With? Oh, it's fifteen copper. Alan's throwing dagger. Yeah, there's a big reason for this purchase. Be careful. Wait. I had... Never mind. You need here is your payment. And while you're here, take a look around. I'm sure we have a potion or other trinket you'd find useful. Train swords. Have you come seeking training in the ways of armed combat? Go with honor, friend. Just browsing my wares, or is there something specific I can help you find today? I don't want to keep that. It's worth five silver, though. Set your hearthstone in the storm winds. Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. What can I do for you? Dead person inside Stormwind. Huh. Was that over overtime kill? Potentially. All these kids walking around here, what the heck? Shouldn't be walking around in hardcore, dude. Stay in your houses. What this... I mean, maybe we should start with leatherworking so we can actually... Get our inventory a little bit emptier. So just give me like uh, 10 minutes. Let me just do my leather working. Are set. Okay, so we got our first green item here. And you know, I think I see something amazing, bro. Like, we're gonna make profit with this. We're making profit. Because look at this, okay? So, the light leather kit makes just as much, uh, as much money as actual leather. So vendor price is 15. Vendor price is 15 on leather and on this item so you don't make any money here by making this okay but the vest so what is that's 40 copper so 40 copper um 15 times 8 copper 
Jeez, bro. Let me just put out the calculator here. That's 1.2 silver. So we're actually going to make money with this vest. By making this vest, you make money. Obviously, if you sell it, you make you make like four silver every time you make this. That's crazy. Be careful. Obviously, I'm not going to sell the first one. And we're going to increase the armor. Increase the armor on everything. I sell only the best gear, tested and true. And the prices are set. So if you want to haggle, then go find a goblin. So we have quite a lot of silver still in the bag. We can sell these potions also. Farewell. Oh, uh, it seems like our power is off. That's great. So I'm running on battery power. Only the best gear, tested and true. And the prices are set, so if you want to haggle, then go find a goblin. Ah, a note from Quartermaster Lewis. I am not surprised he needs more gear. Sentinel Hill is far away, and a land Stormwind has all but forgotten. Well, thank you, Adventurer. Here's some money to cover your travel costs. Adventurer, I gathered into this crate everything Lewis asked for. Can you take it to him? If you've already spoken to Thor in Westfall, then you can take a griffin back to him. Dungar Longdrink is our griffin master over in the trade district. Speak with Dungar, then get this crate to Lewis as fast as you can. We don't want our fighting men and women in Westfall to go without fresh equipment. We need to sell all this. I'll make armor kits as we need it. What's on your so you want to be a blacksmith, eh? No. Grab an apron and a hammer, lass. Let's see what you've got. No, I don't I, I don't want to be a blacksmith. If you've come looking for the finest craftsmanship on this or any other continent in the world, then you've come to the right place. Grim and Elf. You're here to help with my delivery? See? Very good. The Stormpikes are a respected dwarven clan and are well known for their fine and discerning tastes. So it's no wonder that Gringer Stormpike, a mountaineer of Ironforge, commissioned me to craft him a weapon. The weapon is finished, but Mountaineer Stormpike is far away in distant Loch Modan. If you plan on traveling to the north, can you deliver this package to him? My last message from Mountaineer Stormpike said he's stationed at the Northern Guard Tower in Loch Modan. This guy is running a challenge. Every time your pet dies, you need to get a new pet. It's But well, we can also say, like, our challenge is not having engineering, right? Because it is by far the best thing to have in uh, in hardcore. So let's go. That's where we're gonna play the flute. Yeah, talk to Monty, accept the quest. We're gonna play the flute for rats.
I mean, there's no way we can afford uh, mace training. Also, the guide is saying we should do blacksmithing, I think. Not engineering. But yeah, engineering is the way to go, because you'll have a, uh, a target dummy that you can put down. It's a one minute cooldown, the thing has like pretty good HP. So if uh, shit hits the fan, you just throw that dummy down and you can sprint away. Um, the dummy will taunt anything and everything close to the dummy. Uh, not just that, but you can also make a headpiece like pretty early in the game. Money be me name and rats be me game. A vast you scallywag. R. Are ye looking for work? We got a serious rat problem down here and not enough hands on the poop deck. What do you say? All you needs to do is take this here rat catching flute and play the melody around the vermin. They'll follow ye to the ends of the world. Just capture five of the little buggers and bring them back here. We need them alive. What is this guy doing, dude? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. These'll work nicely, matey. My brother needs them still ticking and kicking, else they go sour. You don't want to taste no sour rat kebab. Hey, give me my next quest, bitch. Can I help? Me brother, Nipsey, runs a rat kebab operation on the other side of Deep Run. You needs to take this here crate of rats to him before they go bad. Get a move on. You have ridden a tram before, I. It's easy. Just step aboard when she arrives and enjoy the ride. And keep your arms and legs inside during the ride, lest you be peg-legged for life. Well, that actually helped us a lot, getting all those rats attacking him somehow. I would even get that right. It should use distract or something. Something that does zero damage, but still can aggro. just says exit iron forge bro we should just sell this and train maces what do you need directions to you're looking to learn how to use a new weapon are you well you should be talking to beachy or bully Whiff over at the timberline arms weapon shop then lass they know their weapons from axes to uh Sway handers. Wait. We don't have the gold for it. Well, if that's the case, 
it's 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 worth quite a penny on the auction house. Yeah, there's no. Oh, uh, we we got it. You want to be trained in the use of a weapon, do you? Well, don't stand there slack jawed. Speak up, lassie. Be good. Well met. Be huh. good. Yeah, no mazes yet. We trained it though. In the end, it's all that matters. Right. I sold my my first aids for it, but we have seven cloth. And I feel like no matter where you go in the game, you'll get cloth anyway, so it's not a big deal. I know the first thing we're going to do here, the first quest, is also going to be an elite quest. Oh, okay. No lead questions yet. We're actually going to do a lot of quests here. Surprisingly. Okay, let us do it. Upon further analysis of the Nomerigan situation, it would appear as though we not only failed to eradicate the Trogs, but we also happened to turn most of the Gnomish race into horrific, mindless, evil-doing leper gnomes. Ozzy and I plan to reverse the horrible leper effect with our latest invention, the Recombobulator. The machine is almost complete, but we are in dire need of some restabilization cogs and gyro mechanic tools. Retrieve some from the leper gnomes out front of Gnomerigan. I'm behind on my report and could use your help, adventurer. I just managed to find where the trolls are holed up, but I saw so many trolls, I was afraid to go in. Here's what I need. Go down to the cave, poke around inside, kill a few of the trolls, then come back here. Take the road north out of Karanos. When you get to the bridge, follow the frozen river west until you reach Iceflow Lake. You'll find Brunel Village on the west bank. The hold is southwest of the village. Thank you. Thank you, come again. He's level 25, he's claiming... Oh, level 21. He's claiming that he goes to full mana within 10 seconds. Mm. 
I mean, sure, it depends how loud you were. <laughs> I can go in, <laughs> into full energy and in, within five seconds. I feel like that's a good response. It doesn't matter if you go to full mana within 10 seconds, you just don't do damage then. If you're full spirit build, then... It just won't do the damage. It is that simple. And it is what it is. worth of dried meat salted and locked away for the cold season kept it locked so the bears wouldn't get it but while i was off hunting deer that beast old icebeard made off with the meat locker he won't be able to smash through that thorium though but i'll starve if i can't get my meat back you seem a bit more stealthy than me perhaps you can retrieve my stash i'll never make it in and out of that cave fast enough with this bum leg of mine Okay, we'll just have to wait here until he moves out. Obviously, not allowed to join other people, so... I have to wait for him to move. Okay, it seems like there is another method. Why can't I jump up here? Okay, now it's gonna run up the mountain. So once he's close, you just run down and loot. I have a great time. Here they are. What a kind soul you are, adventurer. Thanks to your bravery, I won't find myself starving when the cold season flurries blow in. Dude. Seriously? Okay. We're not dying. That's good. That is not... We don't want to die, obviously. So... No death allowed. Okay. You die, you go again. <laughs> So I did all of that for 70 silver, or the 30, 70 copper. 70 silver would have been worth, for sure. Wait, we could actually buy the mace, I think. 
Where's the vendor here? What's on your mind? We can buy the mace. Put that in our main hand. I have the finest wires in the land. And then sell the dagger. See you soon. So we got a lot of improvement. It's just we have zero mace skills. So it's gonna be uh, a little bit hard. But we're way higher level than the quest at the moment, so like... No issues. Okay, we just gotta kill the enemies here. They're level 10. DK strength. How dare you? DK my strength. Just marked it. Might as well spend the time here to craft instead of using one. Sure, I can increase my spirit. It'll help a bit. Spirit increase your out of combat healing, by the way. Per tick.
Are you attacking me, son? Goodness, have some respect. Yeah, this mace is doing pretty decent damage. Wow. Is that a dead body? What the heck, man? Is that a 200 mace? Yeah. Almost worth one silver. No, not the buff again. We've got another green item. I already have a green chest and then, yeah, it's cloth. I wonder if there will ever be a season, season of Discovery Hardcore. People are already doing that. Sod is too easy. <laughs> Sod is too easy. Bro, just just think it logically about this, okay? You you play a druid and your cost, your wrath cost is free.
They're saying GDKB bans is still a good thing. Like, I, I honestly don't understand. How people can still think it. So we have to explore also and go in that corner. I just don't want to drop down, I think. Never mind. What level do we get kick? Level 12. Okay, we need to kill four more. Holy, bro. I will... I pull both. Oh snap, that's a uh, rare. Level 11 rare. He has renew, lesser heal. He has heal. I, I, I don't have kick yet. Dude, if I had kick then I would have taken him on. There's a chest here. The items he drops. It's an axe, leather stuff, a one handed mace. 3.7 DPS, it's less than us. It's a main hand. And a main hand sword, 3.9. I 
think he's attacking the rare. No, he's not. The rare is still alive somewhere. Okay, this quest is done. Make sure you need this guy. We have to get out of here. They tried to kill me. Really need bigger bags. It's one of the reasons why I want to play Rogue instead of Hunter. You have a whole bag dedicated just for ammo. That's kind of like... Sucky. We're almost uh, level 12, maybe after these hand-ins. It is kind of like low-level quests, so maybe... Maybe, maybe not. Dude, pumping iron, that guy is in our guild. Very good, very good. A level 7 mage, so we're already not the lowest level.
These gyro mechanic gears and restabilization cogs are in perfect accordance with Ozzy's schematics for the recombobulation device. Once I add some hydrolubricant to the inner combustion pistons, adjust the crank ratchet and increase of the viscosity of the electrogum gel. The gnomish race will be as good as new. Adventurer! I didn't think you'd have much trouble finding the place. My directions are excellent, you know. Let me just finish up my report then. There. Well, haha. Now, this certainly is funny. I don't suppose, Adventurer, that you would mind doing one last favour for me? Excellent! Take my report to Senator Baron Redstone. He's a sour type, so don't let his less than sunny disposition get to you. He's in Ironforge, in the chamber where King Magni holds court. Don't know the way to Ironforge? Take the road out of Caranus North, cross the bridge, then follow the road east. There are large banners flanking the road up the mountainside. By the way, if you might avoid mentioning how you assisted me, can't let them think I'm not working hard out here, you know? Keep your feet on the ground! Is there a rogue trainer here? There we go. Interest, yeah. What brings you to this part of the world, adventurer? Another lost soul looking for guidance, eh? I suppose you want to find a purpose. Your purpose. I've seen it a thousand times. Another hero looking for work. Well, today's your lucky day, friend. Hogrol's got the cure for your ailment. Here's what you do. Take this road here up to Ironforge and make your way to the Forlorn Cavern. Once there, locate the Thieves' Guild and speak with Hulfdan Blackbeard. He'll put you on the road to salvation. How are we going to get 10 silver now from this position to get parry? Because parry is god tier, bro. Like, it's it's way too good not to have. So this is 5 silver. It's not. It is a not. We just can't do it. Like, it's impossible. Off with you. It's okay, we got kick now. We'll get the other stuff later. Hmm. I think the macro would be better. So, Neo, kick. Okay. So, on kick, it is use. It's not use, it's cost. Cost, mal add mouse over exist. Uh, kick. Else, kick. So when I press kick without most mouse over, it should kick anyway the target. Otherwise, it should kick the target that I have a mouse over. But we'll see if it works. Okay, this is the uh, elite quest that I was talking about. We're on our way to it now.
They're gonna do the quest now. So I have to wait for them to finish. So how this uh, quest works is we will have to do 50% damage uh, to the to the enemy, to the elite. We heard the cries in the middle of the night. Then this morning, sure enough, the herd was missing two rams. That dastardly beast known as Vagash has been preying on our livelihood. With most of King Magni's army off in distant lands fighting with the Alliance, there is no one to keep Vagash at bay. Perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the beast and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs, and I will reward you. Vagash lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned, he is deadly. I'm okay. Ninja. A uh, solo, what do we call it, challenge? Spawned. Failed. We go again. Go again. What do he go, my brutti? My brachi, my brutti.
Okay, we did it. Job's done. Very well done. Baron will be so happy when he hears the good news. To kill Vegesh is no easy task. I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside King Magni's men on the Alliance front. Watch your back. Fine, we'll take cloth pants. I mean, what's the armor diff anyway? It's even more armor. That's crazy. By the way, our durability is pretty low at the moment. Which is not cool, man. Not cool, man. Until I turn around for that borer. Skinning. is a lifelong pursuit and I see we share the same passion oopsie I don't actually mean to eat there not sure we can get a food buff You got my attention. See you soon. See you soon. Wait a minute. Great to meet you. These bitches need to like repair my gear, dude. Safe travels. Hello. Be good. Those light blasted trogs turning my worksite into a wreck. Look at that. There goes another barrel of powder. Oh, I wish I could go down there and wring every one of their scrawny little necks. I want to kill them all. This can't be good for my health. All this stress and anger. What have they left me with? Nothing. I kill them myself, but my aim's no good anymore. You go into the quarry and kill some of the filthy buggers. I'll pay you. Just hurt them, kill them. 
As a member of the Senate and the Explorers League, I've taken it upon myself to take care of this part of the trog infestation that has gripped our lands. They've certainly made a mess of Golbola Quarry, and for no reason. As we dug deep, they poured out, destroying our equipment and driving the miners out. There's not much for us to do. Why are you whispering, dude? I can't hear what you're saying. Yet. If you help me with the trogs. Oh no. Don't be running places now, buddy. What are you doing? Uh, bu -bu -bu Stamina reduced by two. Wait, that ping, dude. There's a rare. Oh, snap. So many enemies here. We might pull both. Never mind, I'm too good at video games, bro. We keep getting green chests. First green we can technically use. Nice, bro. I'm busy running out, but like... We're not even close to done with the quest. Oopsie. I was about to kill him, but he turned around again.
Don't damage me. Don't kick me. Don't stun me. Have some respect. Oh, we have an un unspent talent, dude. Let's reduce the energy of Sinister Strike. That seems great. the heck stop dodge missing what the f dude what was that all about honestly Job's done. We'll just fight our way here, uh, out of here. Just safe, safety first, you know. Yeah, this rare. Let's just have a look at it. It has no abilities, but it's level 12. and sword. So I think it will just hit very hard. With my luck, it will drop something I can't use. Just how life works.
Okay, let's do it. First, see how hard it hits. There's also a chest up here. Okay, we don't even have to use evasion. Wow. Pretty easy rare if you ask me. Okay, we have two more enemies here, and then we have a chest. Ah, uh, we can't throw. We pulled both regardless. Alright, so did our first rare. But in this video, we also soloed our first elite. Well, we used the guard to kill it, but I, I could have soloed it from 100%, you know? By just using that jump trick, using defense. We got a new bracer. Dude, we are just like rushing through this, it's crazy. We got another green. Plus one spurt. Dude, what is happening? Job's done. Hopefully we can take advantage of it and move some mountaineers in to secure the area. 
Then we can begin to restore our infrastructure and get the miners back to work. Thank you for your assistance, adventurer. No problem, buddy. Now show me them nips. <laughs> Wait, what? You want to see his nips? No, 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 no. You're hearing things. You are hearing things. How are you? Off with you. Train mining. I'm okay, dude. Cause fire materials. I'm okay, dude. Well, that makes me feel a little better. But I won't be happy until they're all dead. All of them. Vendor trash. I'm okay, dude. Wait, let me just see what they say here. The one from Discord is all the way up to 60. What? Give me a second, dude. All raw tea then. Got a few quests we can do here. Uh, we should also join world. Uh, join LFG. Join public. There's another add-on I need to get also. That takes everything that people say in the chat. I think it's called looking for group, if I'm not mistaken. LFG. Or classic. So when you open up that add-on, it shows who is looking for what. But I mean, it doesn't matter on this character, since we're gonna just play solo. All the way solo, baby. Siege engine pilot Maury Hildelf is lost in the hills. We were looking for a rare ore that's needed for a high grade blast powder, and during our search, he drove his engine up a steep hill and busted it. Still convinced that ore was in these mountains, Hildelf charged me to guard our engines while he continued on foot searching. It's been days, and I've heard some beastly growls in the hills at night. Maury's tough as nails, but I'm worried. Please, adventurer, find him. I'm going, bro. Chill. Come on. You ran you ran halfway. Come on. Let's go, baby. Blacksmithing. I can't use it. Bro, no doubt it. No doubt about it. If I was a warrior, we would have had blacksmithing. Okay. We would have been able to make weapons, guns, uh, full gear, upgrade our, like, I wouldn't say upgrade, but like, sharpen our weapons, right? Um... Equals more damage. 
But since we're a rogue, it's a little bit awkward. We can't make our own weapons now. You got this is grim news, for Hildelf was a good friend. And I wish I could have been there with you when you found the beast, Mangerclaw. Thank you, adventurer. Your deed will be remembered by the pilots of the Ironforge Siege Brigade. It's a mainland weapon, where the dagger is... Can be played as offhand. Let me just see here. Uh, what is our swing timer? 1.7. 2.3. I think we'll take the offhand first. Watch your back. Because it gives one agility. We'll take the one agility. And we'll put it on the offhand because it's a, it's a faster weapon. You want a slower weapon for your Sinister Strike to do the most damage. We're gonna sell that, we're gonna sell a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little of this, and that. Yeah. I'll increase my own spirit at some point. We'll keep that scroll. Here there. Aha! So Grimman finally finished my axe! I can't wait to try it against some trogs and kobolds. Many thanks, adventurer. It was a long distance to travel for this delivery. Here are some coins for your efforts. The silver stream mine to the east ran dry long ago. It was converted by the Miners League into a storage depot. But now kobolds have moved in, putting their filthy paws on good dwarven tools. We'll root out those vermin soon enough, but the League wants someone to get their gear out of the mine before we warriors tromp in there and break things. It'll be a tough delve. You might want cohorts at your side. The gear is stored in Miners League crates throughout the mine. Good luck. Slap it like it's hot. Dude, I still need to finish Suntil 2 Remake, man. The game is pretty fun. And we're so close to the end as well. I should just do it. Because uh, soon I'm going to start playing Call of Duty as well. The new Call of Duty that came out. But why? Well, it's kind of simple, isn't it? It's a new game. People would want to watch it. And uh, Zombies is pretty cool. It's Halloween, so... And also, I have a friend that that's willing to buy it for me. Pay an Xbox, uh, Xbox Pass for me. So we can play a little bit of zombies on Halloween. This is Halloween, this is Halloween.
So let's go. It's two hours, bro. I want to don't want to make the videos too long. You know what I'm saying? Also, no need to run with full HP around. Alright then guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.